Wonderful to see you today. Dr. Diggs, what are you doing all the way down there? I nearly stepped on you. I found something. And I'm looking at it with my magnifying glass. Hmm. Hmm. Did you find anything interesting? It, it's a rock, and it appears to have some interesting inscription on it. Um, very interesting, Wahida. But the most exciting part is that I noticed that there's like some words on it, like the word wisdom. Um, and we've talked so much about wisdom that I wanted to learn more. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, the trouble is the first part is just like some strange symbols. All I can make out is and become wise. But what's the first part? I. I want to know how to become wise. Well, it's wonderful that you want to know how to become wise. Wisdom was the special gift that God gave Solomon, remember? Huh, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember our memory verse? Can we say it together? Sure. If any of you needs wisdom, you, you should, should ask, ask God, God for it. it. He, he will, will give, give it to you. God, God gives freely to, to everyone, everyone and, and doesn't, doesn't find fault. fault. James 1, verse 5. We can ask God for the gift of wisdom and he'll give it to us. But we can also make decisions which will help us grow in wisdom. Let's see if we can figure out what the stone says. Yes. Right, let's examine this stone. Can everybody see? Well, I agree with you. It's a bit of a strange one. Mm -hmm. We've got a foot, and we've got some people, and then, and become wise. Uh -huh. So we need to work out what the foot and people mean. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the foot. What do feet do? Can you help us, boys and girls? Great. What do feet do? Um, well, mine normally smell. <laughs> And I like to play soccer with mine, but I don't think you have to smell or play soccer to become wise. Wait, that's it. What am I doing? Walking? <laughs> Walk, that's, that's the it. first part, yes. Walking, but what, what about the other people? Walk to people and become wise. Walk away from people and become wise? Wait, what are we doing right now? Walking together. Walk with the people and become wise, yes! <laughs> well, almost. I know this proverb. It's not just walk with people, it matters who you walk with. Proverbs 13.20 says, walk with wise people and become wise. Ah, I see. I could definitely do with some more walking in my free time if that would help. <laughs> walking is fun, but the proverb is really talking about who you spend time with. Ah. Come on, I've got a story that will help us understand. Come, let's jump into the story. Three, two, two one. one. Dr. Diggs, this story is about a man named Rehoboam, who was actually the son of King Solomon. And through this story, we learn that the people we spend time with can really influence us. 
Our proverb from the stone was Proverbs 13, verse 20. One of Solomon's wise sayings. He was wise. <laughs> he sure was. It says, walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffer harm. It turns out that Solomon's son, Rehoboam, really should have listened to his father's advice. But Rehoboam thought his way was better. When Solomon passed away, Rehoboam became the new king of Israel. Solomon had made the people work really hard when he was king. So when Rehoboam became king, the people hoped that maybe Rehoboam would make things easier for them. Mm -hmm. One day, the people came to see King Rehoboam. They were led by a man named Jeroboam. King Rehoboam, your father put a heavy load on us. But please, make our hard work easier. Make the heavy load on us lighter. Then we will serve you. You come back after three days, then I'll have your answer. Rehoboam was in a tough spot. He wasn't really sure what to do. So he decided to ask for some advice. Sounds wise, right? Yeah, definitely. Well, yes, at first it did seem to be wise. At first, Rehoboam made a smart move. He asked the elders who had served under his father Solomon. That sounds wise. Okay, gentlemen, I know that you're wise. And you gave my father advice. What do you think about Jeroboam? What do you think I should say to him? Good, King Rehoboam. Please listen to us. Be kind and understanding to the people. Give them the relief they want. Then they'll be happy to save you. Did you hear that? That sounds like pretty wise advice if you ask me. But Rehoboam didn't like what the elders had to say. I guess Rehoboam didn't want to look weak in front of the people. So he decided to get another opinion. This time, he asked some of the young men who had grown up with him, his friends his age. My boys. Hey, good to see you. How are things going? Yeah, things are going okay. People have been complaining about being worked too hard. So I was just talking to my father's elders and asking them what to do. Don't take any advice from those men. They are ancient. <laughs> <laughs> really? You think? Yeah, man. So behind. What's the problem, anyway? Yeah. Just this man called Jeroboam, asking me to think about making life easier for the people. No way. Don't do it. You should say to him, my little finger is stronger than my dad's legs. <laughs> yes, and then say, my father made you work hard, but I'll even make you work harder. That will show them how powerful you are. Uh, uh oh. That wouldn't be good. What do you all think? Do you think Rehoboam would be better off listening to wise elders or the tough talking young guys? I think the wise elders. <laughs> the trouble was, Rehoboam didn't realize that he just received some very unwise advice. Oh no. He wanted to listen to his friends. Three days later, Jeroboam and the people came back to Rehoboam. And well, here's what happened. King Rehoboam, you asked me to come back to you in three days. Here am I. Yes. I did. And here's my answer. You think my father put a heavy load in your shoulders? Well, <laughs> I'll make it even heavier. 
As you can imagine, the people were not happy. They left and said they didn't want anything to do with David's family at all. Hmm. Things did not go well for Rehoboam after that. Whoa, that seemed pretty harsh. What happened next? Well, from that day on, the nation of Israel split into two kingdoms. Rehoboam still ruled over Judah, but Jeroboam was made king over Israel. And it was all because Rehoboam chose to ignore wise advice and listen to his foolish friends instead. You can see how important it is for us to listen to wise people. Mm -hmm. Rehoboam was smart to ask for advice to begin with, but unfortunately, he listened to the people who just told him what he wanted to hear. It's like the wise advice that God gave Solomon. Walk with wise people and become wise. That's true for us today too. We need to do this. Let's say our bottom line together. Sure. Dr. Diggs, can you help? Yes. Hang, Hang out with, with wise people. Let's pray and ask God to help us. God, thank you for this story that reminds us to hang out with wise people. Please help us to spend time with friends who will help us make wise choices instead of leading us in the wrong direction. Help us learn from Rehoboam's mistake. Give us the wisdom to listen to people who love you and want to live your way. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Rehoboam should have listened he to his wise have. father's words. If Rehoboam had followed that advice, I think things would have gone differently for him. It's not always easy to listen to wise advice from other people, especially when it's not something we want to hear. Like when my mother used to tell me to go to bed early, even though I wanted to stay up and play games. But if we surround ourselves with wise people, then we know we can trust their advice to be solid and true. God can give us wisdom through them. Remember, hang, hang out, out with, with wise people. people. Jesus had a whole group of close friends, the disciples. The disciples spent time hanging out with Jesus. The disciples learned from Jesus, and in the same way, we can learn from people who follow Jesus. So let's make sure that we choose our friends carefully. Let's think about who we spend most of our time with. Let's ask God to put wise people in our lives who will help us follow him. Let's worship together now, friends. Mm -hmm. See you next week. Salani gafle bangani.